Do you want to change something in your company? Have you either initiated a change project or are you leading a change project? Well, then you will encounter resistance in your organization, among colleagues, and also in general among employees. In this video, you will learn which seven mistakes you should definitely avoid when it comes to change management projects. Stay tuned. What is successful today doesn't automatically mean that it promises success in the future. That's why all companies have to deal with change. And it's not easy. Even if an organization acknowledges that something has to change, it's still difficult for most of the people to deal with it. Fyodor Mikhailovich Dostoevsky was spot on when he said, change is what people fear most. Here are seven common mistakes to avoid resistance when you are in charge for a change project. First, establishing identification among employees. In most change processes, people think that the number one goal should be to get all employees to identify with the change project. They should identify with the change. Identification. <laughs> My employees should just do what I say. It's that easy. However, it's so that identification is not always necessary. That's what I said, right? Achieving identification with a change, that's very, very time consuming. Depending on the change project, this may not be even possible or even necessary. In most cases, it's enough for the workforce to accept the change. And sometimes, Sometimes it's even enough if you get the employees to tolerate the change process. Good evening, everyone. I'm sorry to inform you today that we have to part ways with some employees uh, in the course of our current change project. How should one identify with this? In this case, it makes more sense and is more realistic for the manager to achieve acceptance for it. Of course, the remaining employees don't think this step is great. Who identifies with it when their colleagues or themselves are to be fired? But accepting it as a bitter necessity that this step is necessary, that can be a meaningful goal. Oh dear, that's pretty tough. I understand that it's necessary to cut down the stuff, but I cannot stand behind that. I'm just curious to see if they let them go in a respectable way. Second, the goals and benefits of the change project aren't clearly defined. In a change process, it's crucial that the desired goal is clearly and precisely defined. The benefits must be made just as clear. That's important. Why should employees dedicate themselves to the change project with the highest priority if the benefits for them or for the company are not clear to them. Nonsense. My employees know exactly what it is about and what goal we are pursuing. Are you really sure about that? Let's ask one of your employees. Uh, <clears throat> okay. I really don't understand why the two departments are being merged. The boss only said that this would make things run more smoothly. <clears throat> but what exactly does he mean by that? At the moment, we just have a lot more to do and nobody knows what the point of this is at the end of the day. You see, it doesn't seem that clear to the employee. Well, explain exactly what the advantages of the change process are and describe in detail the steps in which and how exactly this goal is to be achieved. Superficial phrases will not cause your team to get going. Number three, there's no change facilitator. At some point, the process of change will mostly go through phases in which there are setbacks or the whole project even comes to a standstill. If a strong supporter is missing in such a phase, someone who's in charge, then the whole project is doomed to fail. Assign someone who has clear responsibility for the change project. And very important, make sure that you provide him with the necessary resources and powers. John, in the course of our strategic realignment, I've decided that you will have to work full time again with immediate effect. I need everyone here in order to meet the deadline. Uh, boss, I think that's a great idea. I like to do that, but uh, I wonder if you, you really can decide that because uh, I, I think for 
we need to change my contract, then we need to get the OK from the HR department, uh, right? The fourth point, lack of communication. A change process is usually a lengthy period. During the entire process, it's important to stay in constant contact with the employees concerned and to communicate continuously and regularly with them. Why? Well, for one thing, your employees feel involved and as a part of the process. On the other hand, it signals to the team that the issue still has top priority and is not uh, fizzling out. Uh, John, how is the restructuring of our pump warehouse coming along? Have you made a plan in the meantime? Uh, boss, I, I, I haven't heard a single thing about this for months, so I assumed that this is no longer relevant. Provide information on the change process on all possible occasions. Goals, procedures, advantages, the current status, all this kind of stuff. Use meetings, the, the intranet, emails, company magazines and so on. Frequently report on successes, but also on setbacks and problems. This increases the credibility and it becomes clear to the employees that the project is really important to the boss and to the board. Number five, no support from top management or from the boss. As a boss, you always have a lot to do. I know that only too well. However, as soon as the change process has been initiated, many bosses believe that they do not have to worry about it any further and that then they turn to the next project. Over time, the whole project is forgotten by some bosses. That mostly has bad consequences for the change facilitators. If the company management isn't 100% behind the project and if they don't support it, the whole project is not going anywhere. The change managers then move in a vacuum. They are trying to drive the change, but they are not properly supported. That's just frustrating for them. But it can even lead the concerned managers to develop resistance to the project themselves. And then, at the latest, you can totally forget about the project. Number six, ignoring worries and concerns of the employees. Typical reactions of employees to change processes are fear and reactance. Fear because the employees are wondering what will happen to me, uh, to my position, uh, to my role. And they also fear of not being up to the new challenge, possibly. Reactance means unwillingness, resistance and defiance. The classic statement is, we've always done it that way. That doesn't have to be changed. But the important thing here about this is that it's completely normal. When it comes to changes, people always Think about the danger first and not about the opportunities. It's important to take these fears and feelings of powerlessness on the part of the employees seriously. Seriously in order to counter them. Otherwise, they take on a life of its own. They are contagious. Like it or not, people will talk. And the longer that goes on, the worse people will picture the situation. Have you heard about that our entire department uh, is supposed to, to, to be fired? I've even heard they closed the whole company. Communicate openly, honestly and in detail. Address the worries and fears of the workforce. Then you have a good chance that these emotions will not spread uncontrollably and intensify. Number seven, acknowledge partial successes. Visible progress is essential to motivate everyone involved. It must be clear to all employees what the purpose and benefits of the projects are, and not just at the end, but also during the process. Therefore, acknowledge and communicate important partial successes. Has a milestone been reached? Share it. This can be the completion of a construction phase or a successful first test of a prototype. Well, guys, I've just sent you an email including the invitation to our first brainstorming meeting. An important step on the way to more efficient pop production. Woohoo! Let's celebrate! <laughs>
on all leadership matters. You can subscribe by clicking on the link here in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you soon.